not just a test of endurance, but a form of art perfected by the Inuit over countless generations. While most of us are shivering in a cold plunge below freezing, the Arctic drops to extremes of 84 degrees of 64 degrees that would send ordinary mortals into a panic. Yet instead of succumbing to the icy grip of nature, the Inuit have turned hardship into a creative way of life. Imagine a world where the shelter is not built of concrete and glass, but of snow and animal skins. The iconic igloos of the Inuit, although often misunderstood as permanent homes, were actually cleverly temporary shelters built during hunting trips. By carefully stacking rich, compacted snow with small air pockets that trapped the temperature, these structures provided a comfortable interior around 32 degrees, zero degrees, even when temperatures outside fell well below 40 degrees. And then there were the tupics, spacious tent-like dwellings made of carefully sewn seal or reindeer skins. In areas where resources were scarce, these versatile shelters, supported by wooden poles or even whale bones, could transform from domes into cones and were perfectly adapted to the nomadic rhythm of Arctic life. Heating these creative houses required creativity beyond modern appliances. The Inuit have perfected the seal oil lamp, a multifunctional wonder called a kulik, which serves simultaneously as a heater, stove, and lantern. They were slowly turning seal oil into oil, pouring it into lamps carved out of stone and lighting wicks made of Arctic cotton grass or moss. The fixed adjustable flame, adjusted by a special tool known as a takut, not only heated the place, but also cooked meals and illuminated the long polar nights. In an area where firewood is a luxury, seal oil has emerged as the ultimate, portable, fuel. But shelter and warmth were only part of the story. The Inuit's struggle against the brutal cold extended to every thread of their clothing. Woven from reindeer fur with natural air-trapping fibers, their parkas were not just a coat, they were a personal heating system. Meticulously layered, with fur arranged to maximize insulation, these garments, along with intricately embroidered boots and face coverings such as anoraks, created microclimates that defied the unrelenting Arctic cold. Each piece had been hand-stitched with bone needles and nerves, evidence of a permanent craftsmanship that modern technology still admires. Beyond the physical adaptations, the Inuit have developed an extraordinary mental toughness. They learned, at an early age, to see the cold not as an implacable enemy, but as a natural element that should be embraced. This cold hardening means that their bodies maintain temperature at extremes even under harsh conditions, while their calm, focused mind structure turns potentially paralyzing fear into a practical survival strategy. For the Inuit, the Arctic is not an enemy to be fought, but a formidable comrade whose rhythms must be understood and respected. It was never a lonely task to survive in such a difficult geography, Community warmth was as vital as the physical. Heat generated by individual bodies, with each person acting as a 100-watt light bulb, collectively turning an igloo or tupik into a living furnace. Sharing resources was not just common sense, it was also a survival imperative. The hunting groups combined their successes to ensure that valuable seal oil and basic food resources for the Kulliks reached everyone decently. Strengthening an ingrained culture of mutual support and collective resilience, their diet was also a masterclass in adaptation. In a world where every calorie mattered, traditional foods such as seal and whale oil, muktuk, provided an intense burst of energy that was far superior to what rice or other staple foods could offer. Eating raw meat was not just a matter of tradition. It was a clever metabolic strategy. The body was expending extra energy to digest raw food and producing an additional warmth that was vital for survival in the brutal cold of the Arctic Oct. Today, modern Inuit communities blend the time-tested wisdom of their ancestors with contemporary innovations. Solar panels take advantage of temporary summer sunlight, and high-efficiency propane heaters complement traditional insulation techniques. Nevertheless, as modernity enters Arctic homes, ancient skills such as building emergency igloos or burning, a culic continue to be revered, symbolizing an unbreakable bond with nature. All in all, the Inuit story is a breathtaking story of creativity and resilience. A reminder that thriving in the most challenging conditions is not just about modern technology, but also about embracing a deep, adaptive relationship with the world. Their legacy teaches us that sometimes, 
The simplest solutions developed through, centuries of experience can overshadow even the most advanced innovations. 